With regard to the second question, Chinese intentions and all this talk of a new type of major power relations. This is just mindless talk that's designed to make people think that China can rise peacefully. Please don't believe this. <laughs> the United States talks this way, right? The United States uh, acts in ruthless ways and then covers up its ruthless behavior with liberal rhetoric. This is the way really sophisticated great powers operate. The Chinese are fully aware that everybody in Asia is nervous about their rise. They understand that people in Japan are scared. They understand that people in Vietnam and the Philippines and South Korea are scared. They understand the Americans are scared. They have a vested interest in doing everything they can to ameliorate that fear to make you think that they can rise peacefully. It's a very smart strategy on their part, right? So they can talk like that, and it matters on the margins. But in the end, there's not going to be any new type of major power politics. Great powers all behave the same way. And I will tell you, I've said this a number of times since I've been in Japan, uh, I've been to China a number of times. And there's no people on the planet who are more realist than the Chinese. <laughs> and I sometimes start my talks in China by saying, it's good to be back among my people <laughs> because the Chinese are realists. So if there's any group of people on the planet who are going to behave according to the dictates of Realism 101 and try to dominate Asia, it's the Chinese.